do the uh, give you some uh, uh, activities uh, in this field uh, in China. So uh, I think the importance of the nanoscience technology uh, uh, has been uh, recognized by uh, the Chinese government in a very earlier the, the stage, uh, even in the 1980s. So China Academy of Sciences and the uh, National Science Foundation of China uh, initiated programs related to the scanning proof microscopy uh, development at a nano uh, meter scale in the uh, early uh, 1980s. So in 1987, so uh, Ministry of Science and Technology uh, initiated uh, the special project under the 863 uh, National High Tech Program to support the study in the ultra fine particles and fine ceramics. So in the 1990, uh, Ministry of Science and Technology approved uh, uh, the special uh, program uh, for uh, supporting uh, the nanomaterials study, and also. In the uh, 1999, uh, the, the most uh, initiated the uh, special project called National Basic Research Program, we call the 973, established the basic research projects, uh, nanomaterials, and the nanostructures. Now, <clears throat> I want to point out that in the 2006, Six, the central government uh, issued uh, the Chinese National Science Technology Development Program. Uh, it's a strategic project uh, program from the 2006 to uh, 2020. So they identify the four areas uh, for uh, yeah, four areas for uh, for. Uh, for supporting uh, in basic research, uh, protein research, quantum modulation, uh, developmental and uh, reproductive uh, research, nanoscience technology is uh, one of these uh, four projects. So I'm in charge of these uh, the projects. We got the more money compared to the other three. So uh, because uh, the we have uh, many uh, the scientists working in uh, this field. So uh, there are many uh, the, the universities and the research activities in this field in China. In order to uh, coordinate the research activities in China, so the National Steering Committee for Nanotechnology uh, was founded on the uh, October uh, 2000. So this committee uh, provides planning, coordination, and advice on nano research at the uh, national level. The committee consists of uh, 31 scientists and 14 uh, administrators. They are from the research institutes, from universities, even from companies. Uh, also, there are some officers from Ministry of Science and Technology, from City Development and the Reform Commission, from Ministry of Education, from KAIS, also from NSFC. So uh, this figure shows you the overall uh, debo uh, deployment of the National Nano Program by, uh, by uh, Ministry of Science and Technology. So you can see that from the 2006 to uh, 2011, the program number in the most increased from 13 to the uh, uh, 23. So. Uh, this figure shows you the discipline distribution of program in the most. Uh, you can see that the nanomaterials is uh, uh, helping uh, uh, most invest uh, the mostly uh, in the uh, nanomaterials and the nano uh, biology. Uh, you know the NSFC is uh, the the resource for supporting the basic research in China. So from the two thousand to the 2011, the National Nanoscience Research Program also, uh, you know, uh, increased very fast. In the 2000, there's only 88 uh, program, but in the last year, they have supported 1,500 uh, the program by the NSFC for the basic research. 
Mm, there are many uh, institutes and companies for the nano science technology in China. So we have seen a very kind of the entities uh, have been uh, set up. So National Nano Technology Center was founded in Beijing, in Tianjin, Shanghai, uh, the uh, the other uh, even the Suzhou in their other uh, the research center. Uh, our academy also set up the other new institute in the Suzhou, we call the Kais Suzhou Institute of Nanotech and uh, uh, Bionics. There are 61 uh, internet websites in China related to the nanoscience technology and the 22 local and university centers serving local needs. And also there are 32 listed companies related to the nano in China and more than 800 other companies up to December uh, 2008. So National Center for Nanoscience Technology of China was founded in the 2004, uh, jointly uh, uh, organized by uh, uh, China Academy of Sciences with the Ministry of Education. Actually, uh, uh, the uh, several uh, research institutes of our academy, together with uh, Peking University and Tsinghua University, they set up this uh, National Center in the, uh, uh, Beijing. We organize uh, the series uh, international conference on the uh, nanoscience technology. We, we have uh, uh, held four such uh, conference, that China Nano 205, 207, 209, and the last year, uh, 2011. For example, the last year, China Nano 2011 received more than 1,200 abstracts and our 1,000 posters uh, with uh, 1,500 registered participants, of which our 600 coming from more than 40 countries and uh, regions. Then I use this uh, the figure which uh, created by uh, Dr. Rocco, uh, who is an initiator in the nanotechnology in the United States. In, our, in the uh, in NSF, okay, this uh, global technology publications in ICI <coughs> journals during 1990 to uh, 2010, that's uh, the the 20 year. So the uh, this uh, blue lines represents the ICI publication by the United States. The red lines is uh, China, the Chinese scientists. You can see that. The uh, I say publication in nanoscience technology by uh, Chinese scientists, you know, take over the United States in the uh, two, 209 uh, to the number one. This green lens uh, represents the the publication in the uh, nanoscience technology by the uh, scientists in the European countries, uh, consisting of European 27 countries. Okay. So I think the so due to uh, the uh, heavy uh, the investment by the central government, the, the, the production of the papers by the Chinese scientists uh, grows uh, very uh, fast in the past, uh, especially past ten years, past ten years. Uh, but I also got the, this uh, data from Hong Kong. Uh, nanotechnology publications in I said journals during the 2000 to uh, 2012 you also uh, uh, increase uh, pretty fast here uh, this uh, the if we say uh, I say uh, EI publications in nanotechnology in the 2010 uh, you can see China is also the uh, number one in the year 2010. Okay, yeah. But I just want to say the total number of publications is just one indicator, but quality publication is other important indicators. <laughs> so the, 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 the science, technology, I mean, pe people pay attention to public paper in science, in nature, in the PNS. So this figure shows you uh, the, the, the paper published in the, these three journals, three top uh, journals. So United States is very far. 
no, no. <laughs> higher than others. China only occupied about 7% in the 2010. That means we should you know, pay attention to uh, increase the quality uh, of the paper, not pay attention on the, uh, the, the number of paper. So these are uh, the, the other important things. But I, I want to happy to say uh, the more and more papers published in these three top journals by uh, Chinese scientists in the recent years. Yeah. So what we're talking about the citation is other indicator. I want to say the citation uh, is a, I can it looks, looks, looks pretty good. Yeah. So in nanoscience technology for the world's uh, 20 leading countries from 1996 to 2011, the United States is number one, China and Germany is number two. When we, in terms of the citations of the paper, I think that's another important indicator. Right. Uh, this is talking about the patents uh, in the uh, nanoscience technology. The China uh, has ranked number two in authorized patents accumulated from 1998 to the 2010. The Japan is uh, number one. Uh, we are number two. We are number two. Here's uh, the percentage of the authorized uh, patents among all applications. Uh, China is num uh, ranked number two uh, from uh, 1998 to the 2010. 